welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for today's video because we're going to be doing my classic fox eye that I've been doing so much for all of my Instagram photos and stuff. Obviously, you know, with what's going on right now, um, not many things are open to go out and wear this makeup, but this is what I've been doing for my Instagram photos because it's the only time I wear makeup, isn't it? So the first thing that I like to do before I get into the makeup is skincare, but, um, that also includes my eyebrows because actually send help. They're very furry today. So I'm just going to go ahead and pluck them out. Usually I never get my brows done at all because, oh, it's shit. Look at me. I put a face on. Wow. Oh, who else has been like obsessed with TikTok? I've been saying that every video for like six months. So shut up, shiny. Sorry, guys. Just got a phone call. You missed out on me plucking up my brows. I'm just giving them a little trim because they're... That are slightly hairy. Oh, wow, my posture is really not great. Um, but yeah, I think the brows are nearly ready to go. Honestly, I haven't given them given them a bit of a groom for a hot minute, so I'm feeling spicy now. Anyways, I've got to run through kind of what's been going on because I haven't updated you guys um, with my life, <laughs> my personal life. So I know you guys like to hear about that, so we'll get into that as well. Um, so for starters, I'm going to be using the Dermalogica Clear Start Flash Foliant. This is incredible. So pretty much this one is a clearing brightening foam and you don't actually have to wash it off. So I use this most mornings, especially when my skin is, you know, my face is feeling just like a little bit clogged and we have some breakouts and stuff. This is great for that. So this one has salicylic acid in there, which helps wipe existing and future breakouts to clear skin. It also has tangerine peel extract. Ugh. Tangerine peel extract brightens dull skin while grapefruit extract exfoliates dead skin cells to help even out the skin tone, which is exactly what I need. And it's also vegan as well, which is amazing. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little dollop on my fingertips and then we're gonna rub it all over the skin. It's like a foamy consistency and it smells really nice as well. How easy is this? I've actually never used a product that doesn't require rinsing, so. This is exciting for all of us, I think. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna leave the link to where you can buy this down below, but I'm just gonna do the rest of my skincare and I'll be right back. Starting out by priming the eyes, I'm gonna use the P. Louise base. This one's in the shade 03 Rumor. I'm so happy that I got another one of these because I used a whole tube and nothing else compared, nothing else compared to it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, oh my God, stop, on the back of this. Um, Powder. And we're going to go to town. Also, I know my face is really pale compared to the rest of my body. It's because I only just fake tanned. Wow, I can't speak. Um, but I'm loving how bronze I am right now, living my best life. Okay, so just taking a little flat brush. This one's the Morphe M432. This is what I use all the time to carve out my eyebrows. Uh, we're just going to cover up those little pluck marks <laughs> to find the brow a bit. This is literally all I have been using recently. Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. It is so trashed. Um, one of the shadows has broken in there. But I'm going to go in with the shade of Burnt Orange. Oh, my nail's fallen off. Hate that for me. I got a little bit drunk the other night and a nail went flying and I was like, whose was that? I looked down, it was mine. Hate that. So, yeah, Burnt Orange. We're just going to pop this in my crease. Add some dimension. So I'm just gonna hold the brush at the bottom so it's a very light hand when it's going on. Just dust that right on over. I used to actually hate my eye shape for eyeshadow, but now I've been really loving it recently. I feel like there's just so many new techniques with makeup these days. Like in the past like six months to a year, people are just popping off with makeup techniques. It's insane. I've literally just been doing this exact same makeup look as well. Like I need to try out some more, but before I do that, I've got to show you this one because a lot of people have been asking for it. And we'll just blend it out here as well so we can um, have the illusion of an elongated eye. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the shade Rustic. This is a nice chocolatey brown. I'm gonna take a very, very light hand with this just so we can put this kind of like in the outer corner. Oh my God, I just dipped it in the warm shade, not what I want today. I've just been really enjoying cool tone eyeshadow. I feel like it's been matching my outfits a lot more than the warm tones because I feel like that's more on like the orangey side. So I don't know. I just feel like this match, this makeup look matches like everything. And I've just been doing content days as well where I kind of just 
put on a bunch of different outfits and get it all done in one day. So I have the photos like ready for the week and stuff because I've been really loving posting more outfit content. So it's been really fun. All right, so we're going to pop this in the crease just on the outer edge. I'm not going to bring it too much in the inner corner because I want to leave that nice and open. And again, we're going to pull this upwards and outwards out to like the edge of the eyebrow. Then just taking a little micellar cleansing water pad, I'm just going to drag from the outer corner of my eye up to the edge here. I kind of just take the edge of my knuckle and just like wipe off the edges here so it's not a harsh line. Oh, I want to get, get my nails fixed, but it's so annoying because the rest are really, really fresh. And then we just have one broken one. How does that even happen? Alcohol. So usually I go in with either this dark brown right here or this black. So it really depends on what type of look that you want to go for. But I'm going to go ahead and use the dark brown because I feel like it's just a little bit softer. And um, that's just the vibe I'm feeling today. So just going to take this little angled brush right here. This one's from the Acid Rain collection from P. Louise. So, so amazing because it's really small, really fine, gets the job done. Um, so you just want to make sure that you do have a good angled brush because I promise you it's going to make your life so much easier. Um, I used to be really bad at eyeliner. Still am. Well, not eyeshadow liner, but yeah, as long as you've got the right brush then you'll be fine. Just get a bit of practice. You'll be good. So how I like to do this is I like to look up and then place my brush at the edge of the end of my eye. I also like to keep it in line with my lower lash line as well and kind of take it outward. So I guess it really depends on the eye shape that you have, but I have hooded eyes. So I'm just going to try and stay away from that little fold that I have right here because I don't want it falling into there. So we're going to concentrate, look straight ahead and then map it out. just soften it pull it in the next step I like to do is go in with this light creamy color and I'm just gonna pop this on the inner corners on my lid because I really want to open up that eye area right here just bring some light in just like that now let's move on to the face we'll finish the eyes later so I've been loving this primer recently it is the Pat McGrath labs skin finish <laughs> skin fetish subline perfection primer I'm just gonna put two pumps on this little brush and we're gonna work it all over the skin oh it's so nice and cold wow oh my god I'm so hungry oh I haven't had breakfast it's 11 o'clock that's why and you know what foundation I'm going to use if you've been watching me for a hot minute. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. I just can't seem to try anymore because this is just so amazing. But I did see a foundation on TikTok that I really want to um, try out. It's like a drugstore one. So I'll definitely get that really soon so I can keep you guys posted on what I think of a different foundation because, you know, it's been a hot minute. I'm going to take a Beauty Blender. This is a fresh one. How amazing is that? I'm in the shade 3.65. Now we can talk about some personal stuff. Been an interesting couple of weeks. Uh, I went to Melbourne and it was just really hard for me leaving because I obviously am in a relationship with someone that is in a different state and long distance is super, super hard. And I don't know, it kind of just hit me that like the last time that I was leaving, I'm like, I actually can't do long distance anymore. It's not even an option for me. Like I just hate... The feeling of like being up and down and just like not having the security in a relationship like with um you know where you're going to end up and all of that so me and Tommy sat down and had a talk about like what we're going to do because obviously we both don't want to feel like that and we're kind of just in the middle of like figuring out what to do like obviously I don't want to live in Melbourne long term but I think in a relationship you obviously do have to compromise I just don't we both don't want to compromise for our own happiness but when you love someone you would you know obviously do do anything to make it work so yeah we're just kind of figuring out like what the ne next steps are whether that's like me moving to Melbourne for a short amount of time like for a year and then we can move here because he just signed a new lease but um yeah we're going to look at all of the options obviously we have to meet somewhere in the middle so I will keep you updated on how that goes but um oh my god my stomach Definitely a bit of a rough time trying to figure that out because we both want to live in our own states, don't we? But I'm sure you guys know 
what I mean if you're doing long distance as well it's so hard but you've just you've got to have like an end goal and as long as that's figured out then I think it's fine but we've been doing long distance for a year and a half now and I'm honestly like I mean we did live with each other but we just didn't like the same so um obviously we can give it another go and just see how it goes from there but yeah I'll keep you guys posted with that let me know if you want to have a chat about long distance things because it's definitely not a vibe <gasps> killing me so I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is the Too Faced, you know, oh, sorry, Tarte, damn. I'm just gonna blend this out. I think if I do end up going to Melbourne just to like suss it out and see if I even like it um, any more than last time, because I definitely think I'm in a much different place in my life. Like just say I went down for six months. I just think what was really hard for me was like obviously my family and stuff not being there. But if I know that I'm coming back again, then I'll be fine, I think. I think it'll just be, like, important to, like, make new friends and stuff. So if you're from Melbourne, hi, let's be besties. Lily actually told me that this is her favorite way to cream contour. So ever since, I've been so obsessed with it. So thanks, Lil. Um, I'm going to put this all over the spots that I want to contour around my hair. I usually go a little bit too crazy around there. So we're just going to have to keep that you know, on the DL because usually it ends up looking like mud. So let's not do that again today. I'm just going to bounce the booty of my beauty blender right here. Oh, this product, guys, if you don't have it. Oh, there's hair on my nose. Well, I actually can't see it. If you guys don't have this product, please give it a go. It's so good. It is the Nudies All Over Face Color and it's in the shade In The Nude. My friend just got it because I told her how obsessed with it I was. Let's see how much I've used. Oh, I haven't even used that much. But I've been using it so much. Um, I actually lost one and then I got another one. That's how good it is. So I'm just going to put this on a new little space on my beauty blender. And we're going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. Michael told me to start from up here. So we're going to do that. We want the most product there up there. <laughs> up there. Well, I just much prefer using cream products. I just feel like it looks more skin-like. I don't know, when I use powder, my face just looks like really flat. Then I'm just going to take the part that has a little bit of foundation on it and we're just going to blend over the edges and then we can set it down. Going in with my Cover FX, um, what is this? Translucent Light Powder. Oh wow, <laughs> mustn't be colorized properly. This one is really good. I'm just going to pop a little bit in the lid and then we're going to set underneath the eyes and also the laugh lines. I haven't really been setting my whole face recently. I just really like that glowy kind of finish the only time where I feel like I have to is when I'm going out obviously is to make sure it like stays on for as long as it possibly can because I don't think it does stay on as long when, when you don't set it um but also when my hair's down I obviously don't want my hair sticking to my face or when I have like my little fringe out that's when I like to set that down all right now we can finish off the eyes so again I'm just going to go over that liner just to make sure I didn't distract it I like the concealer on. So again, just pulling that from my lower lash line. So that connects there. Oh, that is so annoying. Oh, I think we're just going to have to accept the fact that this one goes up a little bit, a little bit more. All right. So now we're going to do the inner corner here. So what I like to do is kind of look down and line it up that way. So it's all in line. And then we're going to connect it up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply some eyelashes and I'll be right back. Eyelashes are looking swell. Love that for me. I don't even know what that word means. Um, okay, now it's time for the eyebrows because they're looking a little bit flat, a bit sad. Oh, can you just like come out this way a bit, babe? Just, yeah, that'll, that'll do, donkey. Oh, I just really wish I could get face tune and just like pull that down slightly. So I'm going to go in with the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. I use the shade 3 and I'm going to go in with the darker side and I'm just going to really focus on, um, oh my God, do you know what I should do? Like cover that little bit of my brow and pull my brows upwards. That could be fun. I haven't done it before, but I really want to try. Just taking a tiny bit of foundation. That's really too much. Let's see if we can make this look good. Let's take the brow powder. Pull the arch up and then pull the tail outwards. 
Next step is to go in with some Fix Plus. I'm just gonna spray that on this little spoolie. And then if you guys have seen me use this before, you would know I'm so obsessed with it. Actually, send help. It is the Soap Brows. So you just get a little spoolie, Fix Plus it, and then just brush your eyebrows upwards. And this just stays in like no tomorrow if you want that effect of like pulled up brows. That's why I trimmed them before I did this so they're not too long. Then going in with the bronzer as per usual, MAC Give Me Sun. I'm just going to take this brush here, which has been my ride or die. It's the Hourglass Duo Ended Brush or something. I don't know what it's called, but it's got two heads on it. I use this side for bronzer and then the other side for blush. So we're just going to warm up the face a bit. I love a bit of bronzer. Beautiful. Down the neck. Just so those colors match up a bit more. So for the blush, I'm gonna use this one again that Michael um, gave me, actually I stole from Michael. So it is in the shade Modern Mandarin. Oh, I feel like I maybe have had this once in my life. I'm not sure, like back in the day, I feel like when I was a lot younger. Uh, this is no longer stopped. <laughs> you might be able to get it online, I'm not sure, but it's such a nice color. I'm just gonna pop that on the apples and then blend it back up here. Then I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuing Continuous Spreading spreading Setting Mist. <laughs> Just a splash, you know. Um, in terms of highlighter, oh my god, got it! I usually just swap it up every time. Um, not really too fussed about that. Oh, I haven't used this one in a hot minute. It's from Laura Mercier and it's in the shade Indiscretion. And I'm just going to take this little brush here. My new favorite highlighting brush from Morphe. It is the M5. Oh, is that the right way? M501. And also the Anastasia one's one of my faves too. But we're just going to put a little bit just on the highest point to the cheek. We're not going to bring it too far forward like I usually do. Because I want all the attention out here. Lips, I've been going in with my Chi Chi Totally Nude Lip Liner. Oh, I didn't know it was this one. I thought it was a different one. Oh, there you go. This one is so good. I literally have just been putting this on the lips as is. It's just the nicest color. I love a matte lip. So that's what we're going to do again. If you guys want to see me get my lips dissolved and film the whole, whole process, I feel like I'll do that if you guys want to see it. But if not, I'm just going to let it dissolve on its own. But I just can't deal with how my lips are looking on the top up here because all the filler has gone upwards it looks so bad um, if you have any experience with getting your lips dissolved please let me know because I'm so over it it's just like I just look like Donald Duck or something I don't know please help once I put lip liner on it looks a little bit better because you can see the border but usually it just blends into one when I got my facial done when I was in Melbourne last time you know how like the skin therapist gets a photo from like up above and like just, my lip is just all connected it's so not okay Okay guys, here we have the finished look. I popped on some earrings, some jewelry, we're all decked out. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. I'm actually so obsessed with how it turned out. There was a few little things that I changed from what I usually do, but I like this a lot better. So love that for us. If you do like this video, please give it a really big thumbs up. The biggest one you can, love that for me. Um, what else do I have to say? Love you guys, and thank you so much to Dermalogic for sponsoring this video. Mwah. Love them, love their work, love their products. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in the comments, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.